um, we're back at it again. Got a little situation going on. Um, we got this 95 Toyota Camry. Um, just got it inspected. Uh, only thing needs to be done is it needs a front end alignment. It needs uh, the right CV axle replaced. And it needs um, this uh, right upper um, motor mount replaced. Um, also called the dug bone, also called the torque mount, um, top torque mount. Um, I was looking through, you know, different, you know, videos to see is it something that I could do to try to save a few dollars because the numbers are looking not too bad, but, you know, anytime I can try to do something, I try to do it. So we got a situation where the guy wants to charge me $140 to replace the upper motor mount. You go on Amazon, the motor mount is like 18 bucks. You go to the store, it's like $35. Okay, but think about this. If I get it from the store, I can return it right away if there's something wrong. And I'm still saving 100 bucks. So that's what we did. We went to Advanced Auto Parts. I got the part for like 40 bucks. Um, and just, I'm, I'm, my goal is to save $100 if I do it correctly. Um, and I done watched a thousand videos, but this looks so easy. So we're going to see how it works out. Y'all hang out. Watch this. Okay, so this is the part that we're replacing. This, this right here. And you see how it goes. And it goes in here. It's only two bolts. You have this one. And you have this one right here. That's all I'm taking out. Um, they have like a slight bushing. I wonder if I can get up inside there. There's a bushing inside there. And what happens is over a period of time, even on the other side, let me see if I can show you. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but inside there, the bushing is pretty, pretty worn out. You can see the crack. You see how it's cracked? You can see light through there. It shouldn't be that way. You see how cracked it is? All right, I'm going to show you my new one. This is the new one that I have. Um... And you see how the boot, the, the, the rubber piece is, 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 is new. You see that on both sides. And basically, um, with your motor mounts, it just helps to make sure that the motor stays steady. Okay, this is my motor, you see. And it just helps it to stay steady. Of course, because it's constantly moving, it's going to move a little bit. But when you're talking about your driving and it feels like, and it looks like you can see the motor like it's rocking like a chair that needs some attention okay and then I, I'm using my, my gloves I have my work gloves um, I have my hammer okay just in case I need that um, I have my pry bar you know and I have my socket okay and this is a number 14 socket keep in mind whenever you're dealing with foreign vehicles Toyota Honda you're going to be using the metric system. Uh, American-made cars, your Fords, your Chevys, they use, you know, inches. You know, so I like to keep both on hand. So I have my number 14, and we're going to be, you know, loosening that up. And um, so I'm going to get set up. Hold on. Okay, family, so check this out. Um, I should have used a, a ratchet set. You know, I didn't feel like looking for it. I just used my ratchet wrench. But check this out. As much as I love Harbor Freight tools, um, I tried to loosen this top nut and it broke. Okay. So what I ended up having to do, I ended up having to use my stainless steel Stanley wrench to loosen this up. And I'm already loosened both of them. All right. So what we get ready to do is go ahead and use it. And like I'm saying, Harbor Freight tools, as much as I love them, they're good for small jobs and things of that nature. But if you're doing a major work job, be careful on what you're getting from them. Um, but again, I have a, a whole bunch of their tools. But <laughs> if you're doing some major work, you got to be careful. All right, so here we go. We want to start, you know, we want to go with loosening. You know, and always remember, when you want to loosen, you're going to the left. Okay. Okay, going and 
I'm gonna loosen all of this and I'll be right back. All right, family, so here we go. We're cutting, we're going to lift this. Take this out. And if you see, now if you notice, you see how the rubber is cracked. Okay, that's worn out. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's pretty, pretty, pretty worn. You know, I, I, I think they tr just tried to give me some stuff to fix so they can make a couple of dollars, but that's cool because we're going to replace it. Because here's the deal. You look at this. Yes, it is a lot better. The, the rubber is, is a lot better, um, you know, and everything. And I'm cool with that. But what they're not going to do is make that $100. We're going to. We want to save us a hundred bucks today. All right, family. So here we go. We're going to slide this in. We're going to line up these holes. See if I can get this slide, slide, slide. So we got to get that there. This is the top one. There we go. We'll get it started. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to oh, <clears throat> see if I can make sure I line it everything up. <clears throat> make sure I'm lined up. And this is where my pry bar. There's a pry bar in here. get that all right so family look we're getting it in you know we had to use we had to use our pry bar you know to kind of lift and push and move around some stuff you know it's, it's really easy um but i'll tell you this you really should have your socket ratchet set this wrench deal is you know wasting a lot of time i just didn't feel like looking in my tool room you know my tool room i'm real lazy just throwing tools all around i didn't feel like looking at it but we're getting it done you know and then i got my boys with me you know my big boys my, my um 17 year old charlie and my 14 year old tyler they out here with me they my, my guys they're going to help me finish this up um but like i say you know we're going to get it done and um y'all just hold on for a couple seconds all right family so i got tyler tyler he's actually doing the top one tightening it up had him put the gloves on he he working that out <laughs> we'd have made this a Saturday fun project you know you got a little ways to go and I'm telling you you want your regular racket ratchet socket set yeah yeah you got to put that power in there here he come here he come with that power e <laughs> 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 Gotta make sure it's seated level now. You gotta make sure it's seated all the way on it. And ooh, ooh, you got the pull. Okay, all right, that's cool. All right, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna get Charlie. Charlie, I want you to go and work on your side again. He's gonna hit. <laughs> there you go. Flip it around. Oh, that's cool. As long as it's seated flat. All right, one, two, ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Very good. Very good. All right. Okay, so remember what we said, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come behind them, and I'm just going to make sure we're extra tight. <coughs> you got to put your old man weight in there. Make you want to fart. This, this, is, this, is, this, is a, this is a good fart, fart pull. All right, then we're going to go right here. Do the same thing. We're going to level it. You always want to make sure it's level because you don't want to strip these these, these threads. And I'm pulling like I'm pulling right there. All right. So, basically, family, you know, um, we all the way in. You see that? You know, we got us, you know, just made our good replacement. 
the video could have been a lot shorter but you know always got to be extra with everything i'm excited because like i said it was 140 bucks that they were going to charge i spent 40 dollars on the part which i really could have ordered online for 18 dollars, but i didn't want to take a chance um so hey i just saved 100 bucks doing it myself um so appreciate you guys y'all be safe and um enjoy your day